Right, I've got an excellent new digital thermometer to show you today, and this is a professional K-type thermometer. The model number is DT1311, and the Chinese say they made it on request of some of their blacksmith customers who wanted an extra long sensor for their forge. So it's a high temperature thermometer, ideal for use on forges, crucibles, furnaces, ovens and kilns, industrial ovens and applications like that. And it has a temperature range of minus 328 to 2498 Fahrenheit or minus 200 to plus 1370 centigrade. And the K-type thermocouple accuracy is 1.5 degrees centigrade. So it comes in this nice box here and you get a case with it and a thermocouple wire which is 90 centimeters long. And I've got all these different accessories that can be used with it separately. And I actually got this one to go with my homemade forge. It runs on four AAA batteries and when I actually first got the unit I thought well where is the battery compartment? Then I actually realised that the unit is actually held in this um, plastic type shroud. I found that the plastic is quite hard probably because it's so cold here in the UK at the moment. What you've got to do is hold it like that and pull this and push the unit up like that to actually get it out. It's quite hard to actually get it out but like I say it's because the weather's so cold in the UK and this is much harder than it would be maybe in the summer. And then there's a screw on the back here And the batteries are in a nice little compartment on the back there. And then the unit pushes in the top here at first and you can click it back home. So if you live in a cold climate, it probably paid to actually heat this up with a hairdryer a little bit first to make it a little bit more malleable before actually trying to get it out. But it's a good idea because it makes it more impact resistant. You can open this part out at the back here for a stand and it actually clips back nicely and it stands at a really nice angle. And the really great thing about this thermometer being the K-type, you can actually choose whatever thermocouple device you actually want to connect to it. I've got a long probe, a short probe. I've got the connection there for connecting this ceramic um, kiln probe and I'm going to be drilling the side of my um, forge and inserting this one into that one and connecting that up and I'll show that when I um, do that. Plus you can get high temperature exhaust probes like this one for measuring hot gases. And this one has a 1 8 BSP adapter and it's 2 meters long and it's stainless steel shrouded. So like I say, there's a great variety of accessories to go with the thermometer for all different applications. And this ceramic one here was actually designed for measuring the temperature of a kiln or a forge or whatever. And it's used in conjunction with this cable here. The two connectors connect to the back of this one on these terminals here and then it plugs into the unit. And like I said, I'm hoping to actually fit this one to my forge. At the moment I can use my forge for hardening like O1 carbon steel for knife making. And I can actually use it for 
um, annealing tool steel or whatever but when I fit this one I'm hoping that I'll be able to use the thermometer and this setup to actually use the forge for tempering steel as well so on the top of the thermometer here there's two small slots uh, one's narrower than that one there and it's clearly marked plus and minus and the k-type plug is marked plus and minus so you must make sure you try and insert it the right way round just plugs in like that and it's ready to use and this one has a really nice display and earlier I tried this thermocouple with my um, TS80 soldering iron and I found it absolutely dead accurate to within a couple of degrees and I'll just show you that So to make it easier for me I've put the thermocouple wire in this vise here and I've got my TS80 soldering iron and it's registering 300 degrees C at the moment on that one. So now I'll just stick it on the end of that wire and see what temperature reading we get. Now that's not bad at all and you can actually hold it so it's pretty well spot on. And I think that's really excellent. So now I've put my TS80 soldering iron up to 350 degrees centigrade and we'll see what that one does. and that's absolutely brilliant as well and now I've dropped the temperature down to 150 degrees centigrade so it's actually cooling down at the moment and soon get to that temperature It's an absolutely fantastic little soldering on this TS-80. So that's it and I'll try that one now. And that's not bad at all. 
and the thermometer has a really nice simple design so you can go over to Fahrenheit centigrade and then you can go in one degrees and then 0.1 so you can shift it over whatever range you want it in and I'm really looking forward to actually setting it up in my forge and seeing how it performs with that one so hopefully at a later day I shall show this one all set up on the forge or show me um, actually um, preparing it and setting it up and it'll be really interesting to see how it actually works with that one I did forget to say that the unit comes with a instruction paper there written in English and it's really worth actually going on the Banggood site and having a look at this one and the various different components and things that you can actually buy for it. I'll put the links for this one and for all these parts as well underneath.